Introducing the brand new Spectrum Aurora Max 1.2 meter ring light. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on the Aurora Max, like this video if it's helped you in any way, follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram, spectrum.aurora, or visit our website, spectrum-brand.com. You may already be familiar with the Spectrum Aurora range of ring lights, including our Mini Pearl, our Diamond Lux, and our Gold Lux ring lights, which are perfect for makeup artists, beauticians, nail artists, tattoo artists, and all sorts of varieties of different industries. In this particular one, we're actually gonna be looking at our largest ring light, which is the Aurora Max, which is 1.2 meters, or about 47 inches in diameter. I've got with me here all the components that are included with the Aurora Max package. So firstly, what we have here are two stands. So these two stands come in their own carry bags that feature a shoulder strap. These are zipper carry bags, so they're perfect for portability or when you're traveling. So when you open these up, you have some large stands here. So there we have it. We've got a really large stand, has the Spectrum branding there, and then on the top here, you have a little cover just to protect the quarter inch thread that's at the top of this stand. This large stand actually features two segments that you can extend up to 2.6 meters. And in this white box here, we have some cables. So opening this up, you have a connection cable. So this connects to the ring light as well as the controller box. And then here we have a kettle cord or an IEC cable, which plugs from that controller box to a power outlet. Now these cables are perfect in size to fit into this little front pouch here. They're just separated during packaging. However, they're perfect to fit on that zipper part here of the actual ring light bag. Now taking a look at the bag, you can see here it's quite a large bag. So this here is basically a semi-circle bag. So it's a half bag of the ring light because the ring light comes in different parts that you need to put together to set up. Firstly, this large bag here has a carry handle as well as a shoulder strap. This shoulder strap's adjustable and it has a little bit of a shoulder padding there as well. And you've also got a zipper opening here. So opening this up, opens up the actual ring light box. There we go. So what you can see here is four different segments of the ring light. So you've got four segments and also diffuser covers on each segment. Now you'll see two segments here actually have the brackets that mount to the stand. So these are going to be your side parts. So you can see that's the, the bracket there for the stand. And they all fit nicely into this die cut foam. On the top here we have a instruction guide as well as a warranty and everything. Also got a large power pack. So this power pack here is 20 volts or 7.5 amps. And you've got the controller box. So the controller box there, we'll take a closer look at its functions, but you've got different dials here and controls that control the color temperature as well as the dimmer. Here are all the different parts to the Aurora Max 1.2 meter ring light. So first you've got the four segments of the ring lights here. You've got the controller box. You've also got the power cables and the power adapter and the two stands. Now to set this all up is actually relatively simple. So I'll put these stands to one side and we won't need the cables for now. So we put those away. And now just looking at the four different segments here, first thing you'll notice is that there are two parts with some light stand brackets here. They're both positioned in the same way, but what you need to take note of is the port for the power cable that connects to the controller box. So that one is on this part here, and that's gonna be your right side. Now the other part's gonna be the left side of the ring light. So you can place that over here. But the first thing you need to do is actually loosen the knob and rotate the swivel for the light stand bracket to position downwards because the two light stands will help prop up this big ring light. Now there are two more parts here and they both have logos on them but they're in different positions. So what you need to take note of is the top position. So when you position the ring light like so, the top logo will actually be in the correct position and also for the bottom logo here, you'll see that it's also upright and in the correct position. To connect the segments together, firstly grab the right component here you'll see it's the right part because it has the connection point here for the power cable. 
Then right at the top here, you'll see the connection point that attaches it to each segment here. So what you need to do is remove the locking knob and grab the other piece and slide in the connection point like that and then replace the locking knob. And that joins the two parts together. Now you just need to continue with the other parts here. So I'll just move this across and to attach the bottom part, it's the same process. And lastly is the last part here. The last part actually has two locking knobs on the top and bottom. There you have it. You've got that huge ring light all set up. All four parts are locked in with these locking knobs. Just make sure that they're all secure to ensure a nice secure connection for all the different segments of the ring light. So to mount the Aurora Max to the light stands, you'd need the help of an assistant. What we've done here is already expanded out the tripod legs. So you just need to push down on the center column to expand the legs out and set the stands about the same distance apart as the diameter of the ring light. So about 1.2 meters apart, just so when you go to mount the bracket, it mounts directly to the top of the stand there. Now grab the handles on the back here and mount it to the stand. You can reposition the stand if needed. What you need to do is ensure that the locking knob here doesn't obstruct the way when mounting it to the stand. So just loosen that, make sure it sits flush on the top of the light stand and screw to tighten. So to adjust the height of the ring light, firstly what you need to do is adjust the different segments here and loosen them and extend them upwards on the light stand. The actual minimum height of the ring light right now is 173 centimeters. So we'll unlock the top segment here of the light stand. These light stands here are spring loaded, so they will pop up as you release the locking knob. And together with your assistant, you can adjust the height to the desired height and then lock into place to adjust that. So you've got two different segments here. You can adjust the height of the ring light to suit your environment or the, or the setting that you need to set up in. To power the ring light, firstly, you need to plug in the AC adapter into the wall and that will connect directly into the controller box here at the top. What you'll notice straight away is that the controller box receives some power and turns on briefly. Then you actually get the connection point cable that connects from the controller box to the ring light. Now this connection cable actually has a little notch that lines up to the notch on the inside here of the controller box and insert that and just twist to lock and do the same on the ring light side. So now that's all connected up, one side to the power, the other side to the ring light. All you need to do is press down on the red button which is your power button, and that turns on the ring light there immediately. So you actually have two dials here. One is the color temperature adjusting knob and one is the dimmer. So firstly, you can control the ring light from 1% to 100% increments. Now you can go up in 1% increments, or obviously you can scale all the way up to 100% when needed. And then you can also change the color temperature from 3000 Kelvin to 5500 Kelvin. Now the menu options, the far right button here is the menu button. So when you press down on that, that brings up the menu and you've got up and down buttons here. So you can cycle through the menu. There's only four options here. So the first one's DMX address set. So when you press down on the menu button once again, which is enter, you can see the DMX, DMX address set. You can change those settings there. Now pressing down on the menu button once again brings you back to the main menu. Next one is the LCD backlight set. So you can actually set the LCD backlight of the actual controller box. So as you decrease the percentage there, the actual backlight of the controller box goes down. So we'll leave that at 100%. Now lastly is the system info. When you press down on that, that shows you system info of the ring light itself. So you can see here, it says the DMX address. It also has the color temperature range uh, and the current color temperature it's set at and also the current dimming setting that it's set at too. Now to go back to the main menu, you need to press down on the red button and that brings it back to the main screen here that has the percentage, which is the output and then also the color temperature adjusting. And to turn off, you just press down on the red button. You hold that down for about two seconds and that turns the light off. 
just as a size comparison, we've got the Diamond Lux 2 ring light here, which is an 18 inch ring light compared to the size of the 47 inch ring light here, the Aurora Max. You're probably wondering why you would need such a big ring light. There are so many different ring lights on the market that are all smaller in size. So our Mini Pearl is only 14 inches, the Diamond is 18 inches, and the Gold is 19 inches. So the Aurora Max sits at 47 inches, which is double the size or more than double the size of standard ring lights. It'd be perfect for use in master classes or workshops, such as hair workshops or master classes, makeup, beauty, you've got lashes, brows, and also medical. You can also use this as a trade show or expo lighting setup or a photo booth setup, as well as at events such as weddings, parties, engagements, and of course you can use it in photography or videography or film. So you can use this light for setting up as a key light and using it to take professional looking photos as well as videos. Another great use example of this would be to be able to tilt this ring light so you can use it for flat lay or if you're just wanting to angle the light in a different way. So to do that, what you need to do is loosen the little knob here that attaches to the side of the ring light. You need to do that on both sides. And you can actually angle the light, and lock it into position that way. So you can have the light positioned and directed in a different way. So if you're wanting to shoot flat lay, you can have this completely horizontal and shooting flat lay photography. And you have a much wider space here to shoot through and ensure nice, even lighting. Running through the specifications of the Aurora Max 1.2 meter ring light. Firstly, there are 1,408 LEDs and there's about 704 LEDs split between the two different color temperatures of 3000 Kelvin and 5500 Kelvin. You also have a CRI rating of 95 plus and the LEDs lifespan is rated to 50,000 hours. You also have a beam angle for the LEDs to be 120 degrees, so that's quite a wide spread. And having a wide spread is great, which is why this ring light is so large. Typically, the larger the light source, the more natural and softer the light it produces to your subject. So if you're shooting groups or individuals, you have a nice spread of natural looking light. Just a couple of tips to use to safely set up the Aurora Max ring light. Firstly, when setting up the stands, ensure you have one of the legs of the tripod stands facing inwards towards the ring light on both sides. The other two legs should be pointed outwards, so that creates a nice stable setup for when you're mounting the ring light to the stands. The next step would be to use a sandbag such as this. So this is an empty sandbag that you can use to fill with your own weights and mount this across the light stand legs. So that way you ensure further stability of the ring light prevents it from toppling over. Lastly, ensure you have a power surge protector handy when plugging in the AC adapter to prevent any electrical surges and damaging the ring light. The large size of the Aurora Max 1.2 meter ring light allows for versatility in ways that you can shoot your subjects, whether it be photos or videos. A few ways you can do that would be firstly a camera tripod. So you can set up a camera tripod and this will be perfect to shoot through the ring light because there's enough space at the center of the ring light here to even have one or two camera tripods. And you can also tether your camera to a laptop or to a computer. And that way you can have a photo booth operator or a camera operator using this at a event. It's basically a makeshift photo booth that you can use at your next masterclass or your workshop or if it's a wedding or perhaps a trade show or an expo. Another optional accessory would be a stand for smart devices such as tablets and phones. So for this one here, we have the Spectrum multi-device bracket with an iPad mounted. So this multi-device bracket supports iPads up to 10.9 inches. And you can see here we have a standard iPad it also has a ball head. Now this is perfect if you have subjects coming into your photo booth and they're wanting to take photos themselves, they can operate the iPad directly and they can just touch the screen to take their own photo or video. Now this multi-device bracket also supports smartphones. So you can even have subjects use their own phones, mount that to the multi-device bracket and take photos from the photo booth. This multi-device bracket is an optional accessory which we'll link down below. Now another great device to have if you are using the multi-device bracket and using either a tablet or a phone would be the Spectrum MSR. So this is a mobile shutter remote that you can plug into your device. It has a 3.5mm jack. 
However, if your device doesn't have a 3.5mm jack, which some Apple devices don't have, you'd need to use the adapter dongle. Here we have the dongle that Apple provides. You can plug it into your lightning port and you can have your subjects control the shutter and taking photos or videos themselves. On top of the remote, another great additional accessory to have would be a backdrop stand and some paper backdrops. We stock a range of paper backdrops in different colors, 35 different colors to be exact. And you can see we have a backdrop set up here, which is like a beige backdrop set up on a backdrop stand. And that's perfect if you want a makeshift photo booth or a mini studio. You can set this up to have a nice, clean, seamless finish for your backdrops. So that was just a quick look at the Aurora Max 1.2 meter ring light. This ring light is really a statement light for your next wedding, event, trade show, expo, masterclass, or workshop. For more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell to be updated of any videos or new content we release. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on your thoughts on the Aurora Max, or if you have any questions, give this video a like and follow us on social media, spectrum.aurora, or visit our website, spectrum-brand.com. Thank you.